ruled Britannia. Yes, how about that? Rule Britannia coming soon, along with the 125 England update to Europa Universalis 4. Now, I'm sure you're arriving here just eager to see the dev clash, but I'm sorry you're instead getting me with the first look at Rule Britannia. Having a hands-on look, gonna go through uh, quickly some of the changes that we have made, some of the new features, some of which haven't even been shown in the dev diaries yet. I know there are plenty of people asking about that. You can kind of see the chat there, but it's just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. So how about we get into it? So uh, straight away, you'll notice we've done quite a few map changes to Britain and the surrounding areas. Ireland's been uh, fleshed out, whole new tags there. Map changes along in Scotland, including the new The Isles tag over by the Inner and the Outer Hebrides, including the Isle of Man has been added. So uh, quite a few people have been after that, and if we work our way down through all the new provinces, Northern France also been given a facelift as well as uh, changes in the areas here. What else has been added along freely with the update? Well, I was given a fairly lengthy list of ideas that had been added, and uh, I'm sure people are going to ask about them in more detail. We will have them in more detail in the dev diaries to come, but you know, maybe if people are persistent enough we can have a few more... Uh, well, a few actually gone through here. So, <clears throat> ideas that have been added or changed were to the English and British, the Leinster, Kildare, Clancar, Tyrone, Ulster, Highlander, McCarthy, Ormond, Fally, Turconnell, Meath, Man, Cornwall, Friesland, yeah, we, we, we went low country as well, Utrecht, Jelra, Flanders, Brabant, Liège and East Frisia. And those are just the ones that we've done currently because it is still in development. Nonetheless, we've got our hands on it here, so uh, why, don't we, uh, why don't we jump in and have a look? Why don't we... Yeah, we'll play as England. This is the England update after all. No qualms about that. And I'm sure you're just desperate to see the dev clash at the moment, but nope. Just me distracting you instead. So we get, uh, get away from the startup screen here. What are we going to look at? What and what indeed? Well... Uh, there's some lovely programmer art in it, but regardless, why don't we bring up the new mission screen. We've already had a diary about this, but it's the first time we get to see it uh, fluidly in motion. So England have had a lot of love put into their mission trees right here. And it works differently from the old one. Previously you'd be presented with three, uh, three missions, or up to three. You would select one and try your best to fulfill it. Uh, was a bit too opaque for our liking. Here you get to see all the missions from the very start and you will, uh, when you fulfill one of the missions, so let's say 100 Years War, we need to, uh, it'll tell us about the treaties and getting back into the 100 Years War when that is fulfilled, when we enter the war with France or we, uh, or we chicken out by returning Maine, we'll fulfill that and be able to hit it in here to, uh, to fill it and get it. I think there's a very easy one we could uh, do straight away. If we look at the Scottish missions, show how that looks. One of them is to uh, to bring back the Auld Alliance. So wonderfully, I'm sure France will do that for us. Yes, indeed. Now, when you fulfill a mission there, you pop it up here, and then you can slam down there to get your rewards. And the rewards in this case, the UI not uh, quite done there, because like I said, this is the first look and we're in development. I got, got my way out of that easily enough. Uh, it'll open up down the mission trees. We can go into Ireland, advance the frontier, claiming the isles, and missions will often give you the claims you need. Permanent claims at that to progress down the trees. So that's that's what we have for mission trees. We have uh, focused ones for Scotland, England, the Irish, and Great Britain as well as you form them. But it has changed across the world. Who else could we look at here? I think the Turkish missions are uh, quite exciting. Where we look at that, they have plenty to... Uh, or I'm going to crash the game because, as I said, we are in development here. We do it live, so we don't worry about that. Oh, now I get to see me as well. That's cool. Where's Chris, though? I feel like someone's missing here. Oh, well, he'll be back with us soon enough. That's right. We do it live here. And now everybody's going hot code, hot code. Yeah, that is right. I think uh, this one was actually put together uh, about an hour or two ago. So that's something to talk about upstairs. So I'll, uh, I'll just fire it back up and we will be there momentarily. Let's go. 
Or is it going to be angry if I open up the uh, the Ottoman ones again? Well, I will look at the uh, the Castilian ones then. <laughs> Don't cheat or ride, but we always cheat in these things. That's fine, right? Okay, so here we go. We get uh, there are generic missions. Uh, available for all the countries that don't get their focus mission ones, but for example, Castile can prepare for the Reconquista, and then they can reclaim Andalusia, working their way down to converting Iberia, or covering Portugal, their claims in Aragon, going down into their Italian ambitions. So these have been fleshed out quite a bit. Uh, do check out uh, nations of your liking for those, and that's a change across the board. Everybody's getting this new mission system which is coming along with the 125 update. And Rural Britannia will bring in these special missions for the, uh, the British, the Irish, and uh, Scotland, England, and Great Britain. What else do we have, though? Because I am uh, left to understand that people really want to get into the dev clash. Well, let's quickly burn through it, and nothing burns quite as well as wonderful coal. We've added latent goods. Uh, coal can be the new good in a province if certain uh, requirements are fulfilled. In this case, uh, when the Enlightenment is present and you have high development or high innovativeness, then coal will become the new super good there. And coal can be, if we, let's just jump over to Scotland here, or if the game's going to hate me for using our, uh, our cheats there. Coal works well with the new furnace manufactory, which instead of boosting the goods locally gives you a Goods produce modifier for your whole empire. So coal, if you look over at the trade map mode, it's the ones with the striped uh, striped lines here. There's coal across the world. There's obviously quite the concentration in Britain, but where else do we have some? We've got them over in uh, Trois of Ache, for example, and wherever. A couple over in Hungary. Lucky them. Smoggy and well, I'm not going to try my hand at uh, these names. So coal industrialization, good times. Uh, what else? Well, I mentioned innovativeness, so let's jump over to England for this one. Inv innovativeness, which, well, might be a diary about that coming out uh, in a forum near you. So, innovativeness is a new thing you can get when you are the first to a new uh, tech or idea. So why don't we give ourselves loads of power points, that's the way forward. So when you are the first to them, you build up your innovativeness, and what this will give you is all power cost reduction, as well as your navy and army decay. That won't go, uh, those traditions won't go away quite so fast. Now when you're ahead of time and you're first there, it's good times, but if you end up behind your neighbours, then this is going to go away, so certainly going to favour the tall empires that focus their way with new ideas and uh, new technology there. What else can we show? Right, well, I, I'm going to see if I can very quickly uh, do some horrible things to to Lubeck here. Oh, let's not worry about them and their friends. Let's win this war. Yes. Don't worry, this is all just legit strategies here. I'm a console player myself. So a new thing you can do, you can do it uh, diplomatically, but we're just going to do this by, uh, by war anyway, is the ability to steer trade. You can make enemies have their merchants send trade towards you. So in this case, Lubeck's pretty good, I just wish more of it was mine. So we're going to force Lubeck to have their merchants steer that trade towards us, and that's going to make the English Channel all that more uh, fruitful for us to collect in. And that could help along with some of your missions, especially those English missions. Uh, what else do we have to show off? We looked at innovativeness, we got the steer trade there, we got the coal. Uh, while, while we're still on England, I'm going to show the new religion available here. I'm pretty sure I had it right here. That's the one. These Swedish keyboards just getting in my way. So, obviously not going to be firing in 1444, but like I said, we're being the console gamer today for this, uh, this hands-on look. Anglican is now available uh, with Rule Britannia. It's a new Christian religion, and when uh, when this event fires after the uh, start of Protestantism, you can decide to found a new state church or even uh, evan uh, 
evangelize the new religion, which will spawn a uh, center of reformation for it. Or you can just assume that this is a poor basis for religion. Let's actually uh, found a new state church here. And now we have Anglicanism. It uses church power, which we're going to drown ourselves in, because that's how we operate here. And you will have some new interactions with the Anglican faith. You can, uh, you can do a bunch of things to get some more mo uh, money, mercantilism, or stability. You can even get yourself new consorts. The House of Grey looking great with Margaret. But, I mean, uh, chop chop, we can also divorce our ones. I'm also being reminded that we really got to get a get back to the dev clash here, so I will uh, summon the other Scott Chris to, to come join us. But uh, we'll also tease that we're adding a bunch of uh, achievements with this as well, and one of them might just have something to do with mighty Isle of Man. Who's to say? All right, certainly more to come, but we got to get back to the dev clash. There's a finale to be had and trophies to be given out, so we will shift over for that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>